Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, we're going to be giving you an overview and showing you the accessories and benchmarks for the MSI Z97 X Power AC motherboard. So this is part of their overclocking series. In fact, this is the top of the line overclocking motherboard from MSI and their X Power and M Power series motherboards have definitely won many awards and been featured in many overclocking events. So without further ado, let's take a look at the motherboard itself. I'll talk to you about the features that it that it offers and then I'll show you the benchmarks and accessories for it. So here I'm going to give you just a good look at the motherboard and tell you about some of the features that it has on it. This is the overclocking series so of course it has the black and yellow aesthetics and coloring um, that match their lightning series GPUs and such. What we have here is our, our uh, rear I.O. with the addition of the Intel dual band wireless AC7260 module. This does come separate uh, from the board, comes with the board, but it's in a separate package, so you do have to install it. Pretty simple. Take it out of the package. There's a little connector there that you need to drop it onto. Just be careful making sure that it's lined up. And then there's a single screw that goes in through the bottom to secure it in place. Up here, over by our heat sinks, we have a 8-pin CPU connector and a 4-pin CPU connector. So that extra 4 pins gives you extra power to the CPU and will allow you to push a little bit more power into the CPU if you're doing serious overclocking. You've got a little bit of your heat sink here for your power VRM. And one of the things to note is that this does have a water cooling channel built right into it. So you can pull the tabs here, connect up your water cooling to it, and it runs through a copper channel here to help keep your system cooler while you're trying to push your overclocking. Up on this left side here, we have our 4-pin CPU fan connector 1 and a second 4-pin CPU connector. You have your DDR3 slots that support 32 gigs of memory up to an overclocked frequency of 3300 megahertz. Of course, we have our LGA 1150 socket here, and one thing that you're going to notice is that a lot of the caps here are flat to allow for plenty of room for insulating and to put your LN2 pot on here if you're going to be doing serious overclocking with this. Um, it does have solid ferrite chokes and Dr. Moss 4 caps here, as well as dark caps for your all your capacitors. We do have a lot of controls up here for our OC Genie, our power button, a reset button, a plus and minus for doing your up upping your BCLK and a plus and minus for upping your CPU ratio. We also have V checkpoints here. There is our little wires included in the accessory kit that allows you to plug into this and you have three grounds actually. So you can connect three multimeters into this to monitor all your voltage while you're doing your overclocking. You've got three little dip switches here. One of them is for slow mode, so what that'll do is actually knock down the uh, CPU ratio and voltage everything so that you can boot into Windows and then you can flip it back and your whatever you set in your BIOS will come back. You have a OC switch and a BCLK step switch here. Another four pin connector for fan, for a system fan, your LED debug window, your 24 pin power connector, USB 3.0 header, a second USB 3.0 header. So what that gives you is four ports that actually all four ports here run off the Intel controller so you can have four USB 3 ports running off of these headers. 
we have a total of 10 SATA connectors. The first six of them are off the Intel controller and the second four are off of as media controller. So five and six are disabled if you are using the M.2 connector which is a new standard that is coming out for SSDs so you have a little board that would mount in here and go into the M.2 connector for SSDs of course you there also is a conversion for SATA Express since the M.2 standard is not quite ready yet um, so that will allow up to 10 gigabits per second access versus the standard SATA 3 6 gigabits per second right here we have a button which gives us our go to BIOS button if we press that it will automatically boot into the BIOS the next time we turn it on also have a BIOS switch here to allow us to switch between the dual BIOS on the motherboard two USB 2.0 connectors our front panel connectors another optional fan this is the ceasefire switch this is a new feature that allows you to actually shut off certain PCI Express ports one through four if you're doing overclocking so if you have cards populated in you can just flip the dip switch to actually shut off the port TPM module second front panel connector system fan connector your audio boost um, section of the board here and your audio header so the audio boost section of the board here is actually physically separated though it is attached to the same PCB so it's its own circuit for doing your audio on your uh, board what that does is that helps you prevent interference on your audio channels you have two more system fans here system fan connectors and of course all your PCI Express slots so you have a total of five PCI Express X16 slots if you're only using one card the second slot is the one that's recommended to give you the full X16 speed you also have two PCI Express X1 slots here and a six pin power connector that six pin power connector if it's connected will give you extra power specifically to the PCI Express uh, circuit the PCI um, lanes here and so you'll be able to get more overclocking out of your GPUs one button that I forgot to mention up here is the discharge button this little lightning connector lightning uh, logo here is a full discharge so when you press that it's like pulling the battery out of your uh, motherboard and will discharge the board and reset the CMOS on it so if you're doing overclocking and your overclocking fails you can press that to kick the settings out and discharge all the electricity out of it some features of note on this board is that you have the full MSI military class 4 components on here you have protections such as short circuit protection humidity protection a high temp protection on it as well as a CPU over um, power protection to prevent your system from blowing the board if uh, your CPU goes bad of course you have four-way SLA and crossfire ability you've got all your overclocking buttons you have the water cooling in your CPU cooler which we are in your um, heat sinks here which we mentioned earlier you have this nice X heat sink over the chipset itself to keep that nice and cool and you have lots of connectivity options for uh, for this with all your SATA ports and USB 3.0 ports if we take a quick look at the rear I.O. we have our PS2 we have a PS2 port here two USB ports of course our Wi-Fi module that sticks out a little bit a clear CMOS button here as well as four USB 2 3.0's two USB 3.0's a Intel LAN connection optical SP diff out a HDMI connection display port another two USB 3 connections and six audio jacks one thing's for sure this motherboard is definitely meant for overclockers and enthusiasts it has a high price tag of around 399 
but they've really done a lot of great things on here to justify that price tag and you get a full set of features plenty of areas where you can pump extra power into the motherboard lots of functionality for switching BIOSes and switching settings as well as a full software suite that enables you to make changes from within Windows as well and I will show you the benchmarks now and then I will get into the accessories which I think you'll be impressed by the accessory kit um, it really is an excellent kit that it comes with and that's another reason why they can justify that price tag so let's take a look at our benchmarks and then I'll show you the accessories So one of the, the accessories that you get that is typically used for overclocking because a lot of overclocking is done on the bench is a fan holder here where you can have an adjustable fan that you can attach to your motherboard and point at whatever you want. This is pretty simple. It doesn't come with a fan. It just comes with the bracket. Um, but you install your fan to the angled connections with your typical fan screws then you can take your connector here remove your motherboard screw and screw these into the standoffs they actually give you two sets one set for metric and one set for ANSI standards so depending on the size of your standoffs depends on which ones you want to use so you attach your fan you can attach tighten your, the thumb screws down here to adjust this however you want then you would simply Put your little bracket in and they give you another two thumb screws to be able to screw this fan mount into your standoff kind of like this so this is going to sit on your motherboard in in one of the standoffs here and there is some adjustability here depending on which ones you use and then you can aim this at whatever part of your system needs a little bit of extra cooling so that's a cool little accessory that you get with this and then if we uh, of course you get installation instructions with that as well and if we look at some of the other accessories that you get simple but really um, useful here we have labels for our cabling so you can fold these over your connectors and label them however you need to you have a eSATA PCI bracket here as well as the power connector and the data connector for it also get three sets of SATA cables two in each package one that's straight on both ends and one that has one end angled these are locking connectors as well we have NVIDIA SLI bridges that are included with the motherboard you get two normal size ones they also include a longer one here so if you're sp spacing out between the PCI Express slots a little bit more you can use the longer uh, cable if you need to or if you're doing three-way or four-way SLI you have two little connectors here for your front panel that make it a little bit easier to connect your cables outside of the system and then just plug them right into the ports on the motherboard very useful definitely we have an 8 gig flash drive that they even include with this so you can keep your OC profiles on it or do whatever else you want with it you have your V checkpoint wires these plug into the V checkpoints on the motherboard and then you can put your multimeter points right into these round sections here another cool thing probably one of the coolest 
accessories that you get with this is a D-lit guard. So the way this works is you actually take the mounting bracket for the LGA1150 slot off your motherboard. You put your D-litted processor on it, you slide this over it, and you put the screws back in it. What that gives you is protection for your D-litted processor, whether you're using an air cooler, but specifically for when you're using LN2 cooling solutions for crazy overclocking. They give you a little information on the LN2 thermal solutions here as well, right on the package for this. Of course, we get a load of documentation. Get two driver CDs, one for the Intel motherboard drivers, and one for the LAN, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth module. Quick installation guide. A software and applications user guide. A pretty cool diagram of the motherboard. Z97 X Power AC user guide. You get a case badge, which is pretty typical of MSI to include this. This one, of course, is the OC case badge since it's an OC motherboard. And a door knocker, because, you know, if you're buying this board, you might be busy breaking world records or out buying LN2 to make your overclocking records. And of course, we have our I.O. panel, which I just want to show you a little bit about with our I.O. panel filler here. Labeled in uh, bright yellow writing on the black background, you have a soft um, function here on the back of it to pad the motherboard and this grounds the motherboard nicely and protects it from any damage when you're installing it into the system. That's it for the accessories and the benchmarks. So let me just give you my final thoughts and then you can go ahead and watch our other videos on the command center as well as click BIOS 4. So as you can see from our overview and benchmarks of the MSI Z97 X Power AC motherboard, it performs excellent. It is definitely in line with many other high-end Z97 boards, but what separates it is that you have tons of extra I.O. connections. You have all the features that you could possibly want, four-way GPU um, crossfire and SLI ability as well as a massive accessory kit that allows you to do whatever you want with the board as even the D-lid guard for your processor that will protect it if you're doing LN2 overclocking. So because of that, we'll be awarding this board the Editor's Choice Award. And please don't forget to check out the full review at HighTechLegion.com. That's H-I-TechLegion.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages as well. Take care.